Alright, look, 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 we finna react to this video real quick. I'm a low kid. I like to eat Pop Tarts. Right, this shit's funny, bro. This shit is funny. J Small PP. <laughs> this shit is funny, bro. Just at the end, this shit's funny as fuck. Are you serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. Today, I want to tell you guys about the time that we helped Yo-Yo place her boyfriend's Marcus to an epic loyalty test. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Lil Mustang then? I already told you. This is our follow-up appointment. I'm showing you the- A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you a doctor too? This you a doctor funny. too? Marcus, not a date. Marcus, I'm this is a date. This is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. It goes without saying that Marcus ended up failing this loyalty test. But before I can let you guys watch the rest of this confrontation, I gotta give you guys some short, sweet context. So during lockdown, Marcus picked up photography as a hobby and Yo-Yo was this. helping him out by asking you, some of her Agent. friends to model for him. Well, this is where Yo-Yo's trust issues began. See, some of Agent Yo-Yo's friends ended up telling her uh, that during their photo shoot, like it, Marcus like, was acting like, a little thirsty. Like, oh, no. And well, to make a long story short, it was this thirsty behavior that made Yo-Yo want to place Marcus to the test. Yo-Yo, how are you feeling? I don't really know what to expect and it's kind of sad to say that, you know, I don't trust my boyfriend 100%, but... <laughs> well, I mean, I, you do have your reasons though. Right. I, I just hope that he, you know, proves me wrong and that I can trust him. That's right. all. Well, this is what I say: go in expecting the worst, but hope for the best. That's it. Yeah, but <laughs> not gonna care. Oh my goodness. Not gonna care. Just be honest. Like I don't want. I don't like to be a liar. She, oh, so you gotta like that. Okay. Not her. No, She's not fine. That. So. So our friends kind of a line would I mean, be our decoy. Yeah. For this happens. test, we had to pretend to be another one we'll of Yo-Yo's friends and reach out to Marcus. Madeline pretended to want to work with Marcus and ended up convincing him to come take pictures of her at her supposed home. Now, what Marcus didn't know, though, is that this wasn't really Madeline's home. What he also didn't know is that this was all just the first portion of his loyalty test. Yo-Yo would be in another room watching and listening in to see if Marcus would make a move on Madeline or not. Now, if Marcus didn't make a move on Madeline, we instructed Madeline to flip the tables and make a move on him. Hey, Marcus. Hey. So Madeline just got the call that Marcus is here. Okay, awesome. Just meet me at the front door. So look, so if you don't know who Udi yeah, Pranks yeah. is, hey, how are you? Oh, my Alexa. Yeah, so if you don't know who Udi how Pranks is, is, he basically be doing like, um, go digger, <laughs> and like he be doing like loyalty <laughs> tests and crap. You feel me? On the balcony. So the one upstairs though. Yo was dating Marcus. <laughs> well, we heard our friend. So I'll walk blah, you up blah, blah, to the balcony blah. upstairs. He's basically Well, I changed it to my my first He's the best office, YouTuber. Okay? I know this YouTuber. So some of yeah, Yo-Yo's friends had cool told her that Marcus was acting a little flirty during their photo shoots, right? Well, for the first portion of this test, we wanted to see if Marcus would end up acting like that with Madeline. Um, but I'm gonna go get changed into my first outfit. There's two, by the way. Um, so if you want to just take a seat, so anything at all? What? Oh, no. Do you, do you have any? You have any other equipment? Nope. Just okay. Perfect. Awesome. Well, just hang tight. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Madeline was gonna give Marcus two outfit changes, or AKA a little over 30 minutes to shoot his shot. After yeah, changing into the first outfit that she this. would be modeling, Madeline then made her way back upstairs to Marcus. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yo-Yo watched on through the wireless Bro, look, she connection, doesn't matter and contrary already. to what we thought would happen, the photo shoot was actually quite professional. Marcus didn't end up making a move on Madeline in her first outfit, so Madeline went back downstairs, changed, and then came right back up with her second outfit now on. Oh, he's really good in those angles. <laughs> okay, nice. Looks on looks today. You know. Those last ones were great. I can't wait to go look through Yeah. Them. Marcus took some cool pictures of Madeline, yeah, which heck, you'll see okay. how we got them later, but he wasn't flirting with her. Sure, there were compliments thrown around here and there, but they were more photography-based. You want to check them out inside? It's a little hot. Yeah, let's definitely oh, yeah. do that. I'm like sweating. I definitely do. <laughs> so Marcus remains professional and didn't end up making a move on Madeline. So it was now time for Madeline no, to flip the script. No, he hasn't said anything. As instructed, that's Madeline all I'm telling you. Just watch this. This is funny. Asking him if she could check out the photos and share a small celebratory drink with him. So just take a seat here. I will change and. You just got hit with the ad. No free promo. Hey, hey, fuck this dude. Who, the, who is this dude? And we're gonna have a 
have a celebratory drink, by the way, so prepare yourself. Just start pulling up the pictures, okay? Of course, the real reason why Madeline invited Marcus back inside and offered him a drink was because she was about to ask him on a date. I am so wet. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's do that drink. I have Trulies. Is that cool with you? Truly. What are they like? Sparkly water, but spiked. Oh. I guess. White claws. <laughs> like the claws, exactly. I know. But they're truly sweet. She is bad. Marcus ended up taking but, the bait but and accepted a drink right from Madeline. We had Ryan Madeline offer him a drink you. in the first Fuck place Connor? as a way to keep him there for at least Who's 20 minutes. See, drinking is, and driving is, is of is course illegal. Name? So the second that Marcus were to take one sip, Madeline could guilt trip him into is staying it, for as long as she Connor? needed to make her move. How long does it usually take you to get photos out? I could have a few of them done in a few hours. I'll have the rest of them done by the end of the week, though. Okay, bet. I definitely like a more natural, like, edit, you know, nothing, like, crazy. Crazy Photoshop and, yeah, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. There. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> Bruh. Look, this is what I don't understand. She's already mad. They're literally talking about the photos. You, he's, that's literally his job. Like, I don't, I don't understand, you know, why he's still sitting there. Do you usually, do you, you drove here, right? Yeah. Okay. So... You're gonna have to wait a little bit to leave, sorry, because... I'm gonna have to wait. Because <laughs> no drinking and driving, come on. <laughs> come drinking on. and driving, it's, a, it's, it's a sparkling water. Look, 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 so you, say how, you said how she said, you see how she said you're gonna have to wait a little bit and stay here? And he's like, I have to wait, what do you mean? It's just sparkling. Look, he's trying to leave already. 5% is 5%, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't think 1% is gonna do anything. <laughs> oh, I know he's not falling for that. I know he is not falling for that. Why is he still sitting there? Like, doesn't that sound suspicious Bro. to you? He's grown. His he job is seeing him. booty. So you got any cool plans for the weekend? Nah, not this weekend. <laughs> gotta chill this weekend, a lot of work this week, so. Yeah. And I gotta edit these pictures, so. True, <laughs> true, you're right, you're right. Well, if you find some time, um, I am throwing a party next Saturday if you wanna oh, come through. Nice. Where? Here? What the fuck do you mean why he's sitting there? I know, Jay. Like, no, I'm what? actually going to run an Airbnb, so like a little bigger house. Mm. It starts like at 8, but if you want to come in earlier, maybe you can bring like the final edits in and you can show them to me. I guess so. Yeah. That should be a problem. Like if you come around 4, I think we'll have time to like look at the photos and maybe we can take Ooh. a dip in the pool, maybe order food. I can set up a little picnic, you know, make it into like a cute little date. A little mini date. A pop-up little date. Yeah, a little cute little mini date, you know. If you're up for it, of course. Yeah, cool. I'm definitely down for that. Okay, so look, so look, he just he just accepted a date. I don't know if I don't know, cause what do you guys think? Like, okay, so if someone says like a date to me, I'm just gonna think it's like chilling. Like, most of the time, if someone's if one of my friends is like, yo, let's have a date, and usually like I get a lot of. Not a lot, but like some of my girlfriends are like, "Yo, let's go on a little date." It's it's nothing like that. So what do you guys think? Like, like if someone told you a date, are you like thinking that shit's sexual? Yay, okay. I don't know. I'll set it up then. Ooh. How does this not sound suspicious? <laughs> So our tactical move had worked. <laughs> Madeline funny, was able to bro. keep Marcus there until she made her move. And after Man, making her move, she proceeded cool. to kicking bro, Marcus watch, out. Bro, this is a watch, bro. This is why I wanted to show you guys. This is a watch. This nigga's like funny, I'm bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, look, look. She, first she wanted him to stay. And now she's telling him to kick it. Kicking she's out. kicking him you out. You're welcome to stay. Just kidding. No, I'm I gotta right. finish my alcohol, though. I thought it was about my safety. But, but I know. I'm nah, sorry. you got what you wanted, so now it's time for me to sorry. go. Sorry. <laughs> wow. So this is what he does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, now we just have to wait a week. That's literally his job. What do you mean? Just gonna message him oh, and stuff. If, I, if it's a date, it's just chilling. That's what I'm thinking, too, agent. If he shows up, it's over. <laughs> it is over. So I'm maybe, thinking, just bro. maybe, that one drink that Marcus drank made him susceptible Damn. to agreeing to go Damn, on this guys. mini date with Damn. Madeline. Maybe I really messed with his head, you know? That's why Yo-Yo decided know. to give Marcus a chance to go home, sleep off the drink, and then decide if he really did or didn't want to go on that mini but date geez, with Madeline. Fine. Unfortunately, Dude, though, ever since Madeline I've been watching this channel, week, I've been thinking Marcus she's was fine. still down to go through with the mini date. Hey, everyone. Fuck, I've got bro. some. What the fuck is up with these ads, bro? I need some ad blocker. Yeah. 
Now, if you guys recall, Madeline had told Marcus that they would be getting together at a bigger house, but we decided to save some money and execute the second phase of this test at our apartment. I mean, besides, all we were doing this time around was simply waiting and seeing if Marcus would actually end up showing up, which, as you all know, he eventually did. This is one of the ring cameras downstairs for when they're in the kitchen and stuff, because there's no cameras like pointing towards the kitchen. So I'm just going to set this up right over here so you could like see that too, OK? Yo-Yo, myself, and the rest of our crew hit upstairs as Madeline waited for Marcus to arrive downstairs. Soon enough, Madeline ended up receiving the call that Marcus was here. Hey, hold on, hello? Marcus had arrived as he said he would, <laughs> Look at and face. with him, he brought an unexpected surprise. Unbeknownst to us, Marcus brought Madeline a vodka bottle and a whole damn teddy bear. How are you? I got you something good. Ooh, bottle? Can we get a bottle and then oh, Okay, so look, right here, look, look, look. He brought a teddy bear. Okay, I guess that's a little bit sus, but it's not really cheating, you feel me? And she invited him to a party. So, I don't know, but I'm, I'm not bringing a teddy bear if someone invites me to party, but I'm just saying. And he also bought vodka. The vodka is understandable because she invited him to a party, you feel me? <laughs> What, what was that in her hand? Oh my god, I don't know. Marcus. Can you see here in this? Let's zoom in here. Can I offer you anything to drink? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Can I your back? Yeah, it's right behind you. A bottle. And a teddy bear. And a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the bottle, because it's a party. Right. But the teddy bear? He's sprung. That's what it is. He's definitely sprung right now. This is ridiculous. Remember, Marcus thinks that there's a party happening later tonight. Yeah, so I can oak. see why he brought the bottle. Look, look, but I'm the teddy bear, that, that was a bit see, much in my opinion. Watching, How was the drive? Oh, it was, wasn't bad at all. Actually. Wasn't bad. Good. Yeah, I'm glad. Regardless, though, all Madeline had to do now was simply hold Marcus there until Yo-Yo was ready to confront him. Madeline did so by asking Marcus to finally airdrop her the pictures that he took of her. She would be checking them out for the very first time for as long as she Look, so, so you see how they're just checking out the frick she's making them look look so you gotta read the text gotta read the text hey what's your email looks so he texted her saying hey what's your email so i can send you the photos and then she said hey actually why don't you just airdrop them to me when we meet up saturday that's why it's like a surprise i really want to see them but i think we should hold it till saturday in person would be better well, okay for sure See, look, 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 see? You can't lag it then. I want my pictures. See, see, she brought him here. And the reason why, look, the reason why he met her, Madeline was because of his girlfriend. So his girlfriend basically went up to him and said, here, I have a friend that wants to take photos. So basically, look. It's she just, could. So yeah, Madeline pretty much just completed her job. She sat him down right where we wanted her to. Um, now she's just basically holding I him. Got, so now. you. I got time out at the start of the vid. Bro, stop timing him out, bro. I'm going to really take people's mods, bro. Because I want people to chat. Like, I want people to talk to. It's pretty much just up to you if you still want to go down there and have a conversation with him. Although you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can always change no, your I, mind. No, I want to. You want to? Yes. So do you think like this is enough? Because some people would actually consider it like, oh, he didn't even do anything with her. He didn't. He no, wants to do did. something with her. L literally look at him. <laughs> look. No, no I, I want to. Look, bro, like, why, why does she want to confront him so fast? Like, at least let something happen. If you still want me to go down there and have a conversation with him, although you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can always change no, your I, mind. No, I, I want to. You want to? Yes. What so do you think is wrong like, with this it? Is now? Because some people would actually consider it like, oh, he didn't even do anything with her. He, he wants to do something with her. L literally look at him. <laughs> what is it with the teddy bear Someone and the bottle? Like, if you're just supposed know. to be showing her pictures, do you do that for all of your clients? <laughs> Ooh, who is she? Some people just look real good natural, so. Thank you. <laughs> so that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back to where this video started. Yo-Yo has decided to confront Marcus, and I can now let you watch Damn, the confrontation like in its entirety. Last thing before you do, chair. though, that don't forget to cop yourself some exclusive, limited, new merch hey, hey, that hey. we just dropped. But okay, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was worth the wait. And most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies, because you guys this already know. This shit gonna be good. This shit's gonna be good. I like I like his shit. I like I like that fucking slogan, bro. What the heck, this girl, bitch? Also, that girl is weird. Don't fuck. You can see who did it. Not nah, I'm. Sc I scrolled up. It doesn't show who did it. I don't know who timed him out. Um.
Well, no. But yeah. Look, bro, why is she confronting him? Why is she confronting him? And she, he hasn't done anything yet, bro. She could have at least waited. At Are you least... serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. What are you talking about? I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her? You trifling. I'm trifling. Yes, I'm trifling. you are trifling, <laughs> I'm Marcus. I'm not trifling. Okay, okay. What you doing here with little Miss Thang then? I already told you, this is a follow-up appointment. I'm showing her the- A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you yes. a doctor too? You a doctor I'm, too? Marcus, not a date. Marcus, I'm this is a date. This is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. This is a date and you are cheating on me I, right I, I now. And I need you to admit that you are cheating on me right now. Bro, look, see, that doesn't make any sense. And why is she confronting him? He didn't do anything. Exactly, bro. He hasn't done anything yet, bro. Dude, she... Bro, bro, I'm telling you, this shit gets so funny, now, bro. Do I look dumb? So that's what the camera's are about. No, this Marcus. No. 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 <laughs> this is an episode of Cheaters or something. This isn't an episode of Cheaters. This is an episode of me catching your dumb ass red-handed. That's what it is. I I can see how you might think this is cheating, but I wouldn't call what it. What would you call it? What would you call it, Mr. Professor? Tell everybody what you would oh, call oh, it. Okay, this is our follow-up appointment. A follow-up appointment from our first appointment. I'm showing her the pictures that I had. You know what, Marcus? God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. <laughs> bro, what is she talking about, bro? <laughs> Bro, what is she talking about? Agent, why are you mad, bro? Bro, she, I don't know what she's talking about. He don't deserve that, bro. Okay, I'm telling start you telling the truth, I'm, please. I'm telling you the truth. No, the, you're, no, no, the thing is, he is telling the truth, bro. Like, he, he like, what? You're a fucking liar. This, the answers have been the same, and you still don't understand them. I am here for a follow-up appointment. How is this a follow-up appointment? You couldn't have just shut... How her the pictures. We, we met once, so I can take sir, you couldn't have. Sir, listen to me. And then so you I couldn't have just her emailed her the photo. Product. You couldn't have just she emailed her the photo. To e she told me not to email to her. That's a fact, bro. She told me not. Should I move my social so y'all could read that shit? Look, she told me not to email them to her. That is facts, bro. Like what? Email them to her. She oh. asked me to come over here. Oh, so you just do everything everybody you. tells you? It's called work oh this is working this is, this is working work here four hours prior to the the party that you said you were coming here to attend so what are you doing here four hours early the client asked me to come to her house mm -hmm. prior mm -hmm. to the party okay. that mm -hmm. she's throwing mm -hmm. like, for you to I show her pictures it's gonna take your slow friend. ass four this hours this is called girlfriend conference cheating by boyfriend it's by uh udi pranks udi oh sure he changed his name it's just udi now to show her some pictures it, that's some bullshit should. that's some bullshit like, that's some bullshit and you know it stop lying you, you look stupid right now marcus she told you her you intention she told you her intention <laughs> you didn't have screaming. to physically come here and go on this little date with her this little mini date or whatever you want to call it marcus you're right i did not have to but the client asked me to she asked me to come over here. Look, Madeline made it. Ma look at me. Ma so look at me. Madeline made it clear to you that her intentions were for the both of y'all to be on a date. Right. And you accepted. But you accepted. Obviously, she invited me. You thought I just walked up in this bitch? Okay. I wouldn't be doing any of what? this. She asked if one. You didn't introduce me to this bitch. <laughs> she asked you. <laughs> no, this look, you, you can hear the cameraman laugh, bro. <laughs> look. One. You didn't introduce me to this bitch. The fuck? She asked Dude, you. <laughs> this is our follow up appointment because she asked me to come over here. She asked you to come she over here for a date, Marcus. And you brought her a teddy bear and what else? A bottle. And a bottle. She said she was having a party. I brought oh. gifts. Oh, okay. The fuck? So you just bring <laughs> gifts for all of your clients. No, you are done, Marcus. I bring Marcus. gifts to parties that clients invite me to. Marcus. You show me other people's parties Marcus. and handed? Marcus. Nah, he has a he's, he's telling straight facts. He's saying straight facts. That client invite me to. Marcus. You show me Marcus. other people's parties. Marcus. And Marcus. Oh, dumb you know ass. what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You you so, created so, the stress. Shut the fuck up! Did you <laughs> nah, he said you created the stress. Me this much stress. And then she in just my gets. Life? You, and then she you, just gets crazy, bro. You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You, you so, created so, the stress. Shut the fuck up! Did you shut the fuck up! I am talking! 
Yeah, look, at me. look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I am talking to you! I have trusted you! I have supported you! Bro, 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 she's, she's, bro, this is so funny. I like you, you. Bro, <laughs> she just said, look at me multiple times, and he was just, see, he was really staring at her. Don't, don't. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I am talking! Bro, look, she's, she's trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> look at me! 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 I am talking! He said I'm staring you straight in the face. I have trusted you, I have supported you, and I gave your sorry ass a chance, and this is all all that you have to say for yourself? That's your fault. Oh, so now I'm done because I tried to help because I tried to help you. Now I'm stupid. Now I'm stupid. Okay, you know what? I I don't even want to deal with this anymore. Anybody wants your funny ass anymore, okay? So what I need because no, no, what I need from you listen to me! What I need from you is my phone back, okay? It's my phone because I paid majority of it. So give me my phone back, please. That's that all. That don't even make no sense. No, give me my phone back. You paid $200 please. and that's the majority of it. All right, all right, so look, look, look at the phone he has, bro. She, she's saying give me my phone back and she paid 200 bucks, but that's like an so iPhone. give me my phone back, please. That's, that's like an iPhone 11 no or 12, No, bro. give me my phone back, please. Look. That shit, that shit has like three cameras, bro. So that's definitely like an iPhone 12, Yes, bro. yes, Marcus. 200. Nah, bro. Let's let's search up iPhone 12 cost, bro. Guys, guys, she paid 200. She she said she paid majority. This is just one of the options too, bro. That's just a 64 gigabyte one. She paid 200 bucks, guys. She paid majority, guys. She's saying she paid majority, bro. What does that even mean, bro? What? She's saying she paid majority. She's she's just said she paid majority of the of the thing. No, give me my phone back. I paid majority of it. So give me my phone <laughs> she back. She just said she that's paid all. majority. No, give me my phone back. You paid two hundred dollars, and that's the majority of this brand. Yes, off. yes, Marcus. I need and the I'm, money back. I'm dumb. I need I, the I, money I back. <laughs> give me, give me my my money back, please. I don't have any cash. You don't have Bro, any said, cash. Bro, said she's Okay, Andrea. that's fine. That is perfectly fine, Marcus, because we accept Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all the forms of electronic payments. So please just give me my money back. How am I supposed to send you money if I don't have any money? Okay, that is fine. Until next week. That is fine. And I'll just hold on to the phone. Five minutes after I got in here. Oh. So I can't even do that. Mr. Professor, there's this little thing we call a charger. Does anybody have a charger? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, th it makes no sense to do that. I have no money. Okay, well, like I was saying, <laughs> since Marcus doesn't have any Dang fucking us. money, give me the phone back and I'll hold on to it as collateral. Just video. give me the phone. <laughs> Simple. Give me the phone and you can that, pay me that, next that Friday. Makes no, sense. no, it makes that perfect makes no sense. sense. It makes perfect sense. When I get paid? No, give you, me the give me the phone. Give me the phone. We got the charger. Give me the phone. I don't have any money. What's the charger? Give me the phone. <laughs> Wait around here. Are you deaf? Are you no, deaf? Give me the phone. I mean, I might be deaf now. You can give me the phone. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> you going to the bathroom? So give me the phone first. Where, well, where are you going to the bathroom He's with my phone? Bad. He said, I might be deaf now. You can this, be yelling in my ear. This man is fucking ridiculous. He's a fucking bastard. <laughs> no, Dude, what is wrong? What no, so look what he says. Look what he says. Look what he says. Look what he says. Look what Sergio this says. This man is fucking ridiculous. He's a fucking bastard. Did he have to go number one or number two? So apparently Yo-Yo helped <laughs> Marcus pay for his phone, and she's now asking for that money back or to hold on to does the phone anyone, as collateral. The big question is, though, will Marcus even give her any of that? Where's my phone, Marcus? Where's the phone? Marcus, where's the phone? In the bathroom. Where's my phone, Marcus? Give me my phone. Ashley, give me my phone. Give me my phone. Hey, bro, he's funny. It better be in the fucking back. <laughs> he's funny, bro. Give me my phone. Ashley, give me my phone. Give me my phone. In the bathroom. It better be in the fucking bathroom, Marcus. First of all, first of all, look. She's dumb. She's dumb for believing that it's in the bathroom, bro. She literally just let him leave. Like, bro, I could have just hit that shit in my, my pocket or some shit. And first of all, why would he give... Why would he give her the phone? But nah, look what he does with the phone, guys. Look what he does. I swear, this if this phone is not in here, I would fucking burn all of You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, fuck you, Marcus. Fuck you. I know he did not throw. What happened? This man threw my phone. In Why does she talk like that, bro? She's just annoying, bro. Like, what? What happened? This man threw my phone. 
in the fucking toilet and pissed on it. Come, come, come get this. Come get this. This is the kind of man like that? that Marcus is. This is the kind of man that he is. Why he is she threw my phone like in the toilet and he pissed on it. So rather than just coming to some sort of agreement with Yo-Yo about the phone, Marcus instead had decided to stoop down to a very low level. I, I'm gonna grab all of his fucking equipment and I'm gonna light that shit on fire. <laughs> look, look at her laugh. Oh my goodness, no, I am not okay right now. He threw my phone in the toilet. He threw my phone in the toilet and he didn't just throw it in the toilet, he pissed on it. Oh <laughs> my so God, funny. that is so nasty. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, look at Somebody him, he's so nice. What I'm supposed to do with that. And I don't know what kind of diseases Your Marcus might just... have now that he's been running around on me. I'm gonna get the one on a charger and see if it still turns on. This is what happens. This is what happens when you trust men. Like I'm, I'm look, so look, look, look. This, she now she's blaming all men, bro. This is why I needed to show you guys this video, bro. It still turns on. This is what happens. This is what happens when you trust men. Like I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth of it. This is what happens when you trust men. Oh my. Now she's blaming. Look, she's blaming all men, and this. My boy Sergio is literally helping her clean piss off of her phone, bro. And it's not even her phone, but he's helping her. And, and she's blaming all men, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts he crying. Actually threw my, he had the audacity to throw my phone in the toilet and then pee on it. Like, what kind of animal does that? Because that's what he is. He's an animal. I, mean, <laughs> I think they're waterproof. Bro, what is wrong with it? <laughs> bro said I think they're waterproof. I mean... I think they're waterproof. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I wanted to show you this video, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just stupid, bro. Damn, she looky bad. But, bro, like I said, bro, it's just, she, bro, it's just funny. Nah, this, this is like the funniest moment, bro. Walked up in this bitch? Okay. I wouldn't be doing any of this. She asked. If one, you didn't introduce me to this bitch. The fuck? She asked you. <laughs> That's such facts. Like she, she literally did this herself, bro. And then <laughs> this is this is our so phone funny. because she asked me to come over. She here. asked you to come she over here for a date, Marcus, and you brought her a teddy bear and what else? A bottle. And a bottle. She said she was having a party. I brought oh. gifts. Oh, okay. The fuck? So you just bring <laughs> gifts for all of your clients? No, you are done, I bring Marcus. Gifts to parties that clients invite me to. Marcus. You show me Marcus. other people's parties. Marcus, Marcus, oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You, you so, created so, the stress. Shut the fuck up! Did you shut the fuck up! Like, bro, nah, nah, I was reading the comments. Uh, I am talking! Yeah, look, at me, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I am- <laughs> Bro, I'm staring you straight in the face. I know, nah. I know you said, bro, keep digging, Marcus. Talking to you! <laughs> I am trusting no, you! Look, so at me. I'm look, at me. look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I am- Look at me! 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 I am talking! He's literally just staring at her, bro. That part's funny. <laughs> so look, look, look. <laughs> look at the comments. Look, um, look, this is this one. I think she's actually one to blame. She, sh I know. Look, that's also facts, bro. It seems like she was she was already trying to break up with him, and she was just trying to find reasons, bro. I've been in I've been in situations like that, bro. And I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? I'm like, bro, it's so so fucking toxic. He could have just said the teddy bear was like a house gift. I know he didn't he didn't do anything wrong. That's what I'm saying, bro. They're both crazy. The only crazy thing he did was piss on the phone. But that shit is just funny to me, to be honest. She said she was having a party. Also, you bring gifts to your clients. Where does that make sense? But she embarrassing herself, especially the part where she's, look at me, look at me. I know that shit's funny as fuck. That shit's funny as fuck. She sounded, she sounded like X, X. <laughs> bro, bro said she sounded like X. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Bro said she said like X. And bro, no, the thing is, bro, he had so many good points that it just made her look crazy, bro. Okay, but the girl seems like the person to think her boyfriend was cheating if he went on a lunch date with this mom. <laughs> to be honest, I know she looked. To be honest, she just saved him from a very toxic relationship. God bless you. <laughs> mm, bro, this is funny, bro. Hey guys, daily reminder, Jesus loves you. Amen. You should have texted. 
Bruh, like, I know, like, she should have waited. <laughs> Bruh, she should have waited. His girlfriend was being stupid at the beginning, literally reviewing photos and saying, why is he still here? I know, bruh, like, what? Nah. <laughs> you show up to parties empty-handed? <laughs> and, uh, nah, this shit's funny, bro. Oh, this shit's funny, bro. All right, all right. So. Hey, nigga, you Yo, a bitch. What? Come and get what? your groupie. What? Get him on my comments. Yo, Man, these what? niggas goofy. What? You sound like made in Tokyo. Nigga, shoot me. me. Never what? took a Uber. 